This is just a quick video because I've seen some people doing this for YouTube traffic uh, in the sense it's a thing that's affecting so many people, but other people are again a bit worried about it. Basically, what you've got in YouTube at the moment is you've got things like GM Motors, um, Marks and Spencers, Johnson and Johnson, or a lot of big names pulling out of advertising at the moment. Now, I'll, from my perspective, um, it's to do with ethical working. Um, this is corporate speech coming out now. It's to do with they're not happy the way that some of this advertising is appearing. It's not getting enough control um, of where their advertising is being placed, even though as has been pointed out on some of the other channels, they do actually have some ways of controlling some of this stuff, but often, often they don't do it. Um, I know from dealing with some of these guys in India, for example, just off the top of my head, just as an example, um, if you pay them to do something, some of these guys will just literally just throw it out there. Uh, this is why you get things like bad links, you know, where people just run it through a bad link piece of... Yeah, that's it. Bad link. It's, it's back links, but it's actually bad links. Um, because they just have automated software and it gets picked up by Google and it just doesn't do your website any favors. Now, if you're paying some of these companies to deal with your advertising, which is what some of these people do, they need to make sure that the companies are capable of doing it. And some of the uh, discretionary filters are already in the YouTube setup for advertising. They're just not being set up properly. But also you've got the manipulation going on with some people playing on the words, on the channels, etc., which is very difficult to monitor. Um, so I think what's going to happen is a bit of a fine balancing act will occur. I know some people are going, oh, it's going to be the end of the freedom of um, speech and all this sort of stuff. It's not the end of freedom of speech. What will happen is, like, say, Joe, Joe Blogs advertises children's toys. He doesn't want it on something that is actually bad. I'm not saying what, what it is. It could be anything. If it's something that is something they would want to dis disassociate with, they don't want it on there. So I can see there being more emphasis around the quality of content and what's actually in it. Um, how YouTube will go through that, I think, will take time. Um, at the end of the day, one of the things I would recommend is a three-strike system the same as we have. You know, as a creator, we get that um, relating to copyright content. You could do the exact same in reverse. But also, with that, once you get to strike three, your AdSense account is permanently banned. That's linked to, say, your bank account, your address or whatever, and you can't open another one. So it, it's, it becomes very difficult to do some of the stuff that these people do. But ultimately, I think it's just as good that people are proactive in getting this junk out of the YouTube as well. Um, and... I also think if you're worried that you're going to see the end of your channel, you're not going to make any AdSense money or whatever, don't worry about it. I, I think it's one of these things like normally happens in the corporate world. There's a big hoo-ha about something. Then it suddenly quietens down. It suddenly they've had meetings, put a plan together, put a way to project the, uh, a project forward that everybody's happy with, um, and then they start to progress it. Um, I will say that some of these channels that thrive on hate, I could see them end up with zero money at some point or simply just being removed completely. Um, but at the same time, if you're creating good stuff, good quality stuff, I don't think you'll have much to worry about. I do think you have to be in a positive mindset with a positive material, etc. Um, because it's very easy to hate people. The whole media circus around tabloid uh, press is thriving on that stuff. But at the same time, YouTube doesn't want its advertisers having the same thing. There was links, well, who was it was doing that? There was to do with the tabloids. Um, they were trying to dis disassociate Lego and some others relating to the British media. Similar thing, they were, st they were starting to target 
the advertisers relating to the tabloid news saying, you know, this isn't on. You know, why are you, why are you associating your brand with this newspaper? And I can see that happening. Um, at the moment, this is obviously the advertisers being proactive, but at the same time, now it's become a problem. You will start to see people using this as a soapbox to say, why is this company advertising on this type of channel? Why is this blah, blah, blah? And this is why it's become such a big thing quite quickly, because it's about ethical business. Cooperative Bank, for example, is about ethical banking. Um, Marks and Spencers, it's all about ethical um, working, you know, whether they are getting ethical um, ethical farming, paying people the right wages, right conditions, or even making a shirt or whatever. They thrive and develop their business around ethical em environments, you know, whether the people pay right, get education, whatever it is, that is their business. That's their business model. They base their trust of their business around that. And this is why if their stuff appears on the wrong type of um, YouTube video, it's not as simple as just delete because it's thrown in the newspapers and everything else because that's what the next stage is, which is why they're sitting there going, we want this sorted now because now it's become public. It's got to be fixed. But I would say if your money goes down, don't worry about it. Give it a two, three months it'll sort itself out. If you're churning out junk, I think you're going to end up with, uh, when I say junk, it doesn't mean um, uh, bad content in the sense of it's bad quality. I'm on about abusive videos about other people and stuff like that. I can see you end up with ending, ending up virtually earning nothing because the content is nothing but abusive. Uh, there is nothing of value in that. Thanks for watching.